If you can get these three things right, I have no doubt that you will successfully learn to play the harp in just a few months, no matter your musical background. You can do it. I started learning to play the harp as an adult thinking I probably wouldn't get very far, but in just three months, I was performing on stage, nerves and all. And in just a few years, I went from being an occupational therapist to a professional harpist and teacher. It was quite a surprise and really turned my life around. In this video, I'm gonna condense what I learned into a three-part framework that I would follow if I were gonna start learning to play the harp right from the beginning today. I call this method my harp beginnings method because my beginner program is called Harp Beginnings and I've taught this method to over 3,000 students through online courses in the past five years. And many of them have started right from zero and progressed to intermediate and advanced levels all through using my courses. So the first ingredient you need to learn the harp successfully right from the beginning is good harp technique to support your progress. Now this is really important not just to be able to play beautifully and with a lovely tone, but also to make sure that you keep progressing for the long run and that you don't cause any muscle strain or injury along the way. This includes healthy body position at the harp, how to place your arms and hands, and how to pluck correctly. These are all really important to help prevent buildup of tension and so you can keep progressing. In my journey, I made some really quick progress right at the beginning and I had some very good habits, but I also had some bad habits that prevented me from continuing to progress at the same speed and I had to go back and fix some of those problems. Some of these things took me three to four years to fix and it did slow down my progress a bit, which is why I make sure that my Heart Beginnings program teaches my students these things right from the start. Okay, the second ingredient is healthy practice habits. Now some of you might be thinking that you don't have enough time to practice, but if you have time to watch this video, then you have time to practice the harp. Even really short practice sessions can be really effective if you're practicing properly and then it's so exciting to see your progress that it motivates you to spend even more time practicing. I recommend starting with 10 to 20 minutes of practice every day if you can and using strategies like chunking, slow practice and focusing on problem spots more than just running through the piece from beginning to end. Thankfully this is something that I did right from the beginning of learning to play the harp and I think it's one of the main reasons for my quick progress. I've seen a lot of students struggling to make progress on the harp and thinking that they just need to spend more time practicing. But what I've found is that once they learn to spend the practice time they do have on the right things, they experience so much joy and success in their practice time. Okay, ingredient number three is feedback and encouragement. It's so important when you're starting something new to make sure that you don't feel alone and you know that you're on the right track. Remember that this is a marathon and not a race. We're not racing anybody. And sometimes our enthusiasm kind of like ebbs and flows. And when you're going through some struggles, you need some people around you to keep you going. One great source of feedback on your harp playing is from a harp teacher. Now you may or may not want to have weekly lessons with a teacher, but even if you don't have weekly lessons, you could still have a lesson every now and then just to get some insight into your playing. Or another option is at Learning the Harp, we have feedback videos where you can send in a little video of your playing and get a video back from a harp teacher giving you some important insight into your playing. Another great way to stay encouraged is to actually take videos of your playing to share with other people who are also learning to play the harp. This gives you a goal and an opportunity to share your victories and successes and even struggles with other people who are going through the same thing. When I was learning to play, I shared my progress in regular YouTube videos, which made me so motivated. I literally became obsessed with playing the harp and just constantly wanting to learn new pieces and keep practicing and progressing. It's even better if you can actually share your progress with other people who are learning to play so that you can encourage and support each other as you go on this journey together. These three elements are like the three legs of a stool. If you're missing one of them, you're bound to fall. So if you've ever tried learning an instrument before and you failed, you are probably just missing one of the three foundational elements that you need to thrive. That's why these foundations are a core element of our Harp Beginnings program so that you don't have to figure it out on your own. This program is an online course that goes right from the beginning including advice on buying a harp if you don't have one yet, taking you through exactly what you need to learn each week from learning the basics and into your first few pieces, guiding you through how to learn good technique and even including how to practice for busy people. There's an online community where you and other students can share your progress and encourage each other and you also get the chance to send in a video of your playing for feedback from a qualified harp teacher. 
I've seen this program bring amazing results for people, including older students, those without a musical background, and even those who don't have a lot of time. It's so exciting learning to play the harp for the first time, learning from home, but having a teacher guide you through each step and seeing what joy and peace it brings into your own life and to the people around you with every note you play. If you want to be guided through the process of learning and make sure you're not missing anything, then click here to find out more about the Harp Beginnings program and we'll see you there.